Before I hop into the video guys, I had a quick question and I was going to ask you guys if you wanted me to create a 3D course for all beginners and intermediates. Let me know in the comments down below and if I do get enough responses, I will consider creating a 3D course. Let's hop into the video. The tutorial today will show you how to texture your spotlighting in Blender. So let's get into it. So what you want to do is go into the lights tab right here and you want to switch to uh, your lighting to spot lighting. This will just direct the light into one specific area or one specific object, like so. And you can use G to move it and then S to scale. Now what you want to do is switch to cycles. Now what you want to do is going to go into the shading tab, like so. Click on this shading tab right here. Once you've clicked on the shading tab, we're going to just um, click on the light right here. And you, we, what we want to do is go into the light tab, like so, like we did before. But now there's a new option to add nodes. What we want to do is click on that. And now we have added nodes to our lighting setup. Now what you want to do is add in a texture coordinate node, like so, and a wave texture coordinate, like so. You can slow it down if it's too fast for you. Plug the normal into the vector and the color into the color. Then you, what you want to do is add in a color ramp, search in color ramp node, and you want to add that between the color, these two nodes. Now, by adjusting these values, you can create a film noir kind of lighting setup, like so, uh, or you can create like an ocean wave caustic type look. But yeah, uh, by adding the color ramp, you can switch or change the color of the lighting. This helps out so much for film noir type scenes or any kind of scene that has complex lighting. But yeah, that's the tutorial for today, guys, and make sure to comment down below and subscribe. See you in the next video.